respected president uh, narayan sir secretary uh, bajendra sir uh, sir uh, respected dear uh, mkc sir uh, and all of the seniors teachers and uh, my dear friends today we are on to the second talk of uh, yellow week uh, that is our 14th Hello. session Sir, start to the sir. Education. We have one, one. Ah, uh, no. Uh, Thank you. Ah, great. That is uh, by Dr. Uh, we have one talk today. That is uh, by our dear uh, Ashraf sir. Sir is uh, speaking about uh, disability neurodevelopment disabilities early detection for quality survival and uh, we have our uh, senior uh, of education as sir our sir uh, uh, for chairing the session there is a director of nim spectrum of uh, child development research center uh, vandram and uh, we all know he is the former vc of kerala and uh, also university uh, founder director of cdc vandram uh, i invite and welcome you to this meeting sir I invite our speaker Ashraf sir, the president of I I A P Code Code. He is also the additional professor of Department of Pediatrics, Government Medical College Code Code, and also nodal officer, Regional Early Intervention Center Code Code. I invite you to this meeting. We have our uh, 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 state president Aran sir and secretary uh, uh, Bala sir. I also invite both of you to this meeting. Uh, all senior. Uh, Seniors in this, uh, uh, Dr. Shahji sir, uh, Andrigeshan sir, our uh, respected uh, uh, vice president of uh, CIIP, Dr. Devi sir, C K sir, Riya sir, all of the seniors, uh, teachers, my dear friends, all all, all of you to this meeting. And uh, um, before going to the uh, M K C sir directly, I invite Narayan sir to. Uh, Deliver the presidential address, Narendra sir. Over to you. Yeah, uh, respected MKC sir, National Vice President Dr. Andrei Sir, my teachers Shashi Dhar sir, Vijay sir, past presidents Dr. Shaji, Dr. Sandosh, Dr. Ashraf, and uh, senior pediatricians and my friends in IAP. Today we are having an important topic: neurodevelopmental disabilities, quality survival. And this is the third consecutive day that I am attending a program by AAP Core Record, the webinar. And more pleasing is that we are having Dr. M K C sir today. After a long time, I am meeting him. Now I remember Dr. M K C teaching me. early intervention 32 years ago when i was my, doing my dsh it was in the late 80s he was the person who introduced that early intervention concept to the state of kerala and afterwards you will know that even today the topic of early intervention the topic of neurodevelopmental uh, uh, disabilities is revolving Around that early intervention. And in the presidential action plan, we have forty uh, programs, out of which six are directly related to neurodevelopmental disabilities, just like high-risk newborn streamlining of high-risk high newborn follow-up. Then we have uh, hearing-friendly Kerala Down syndrome support, vision screening. then coordinating child developmental activities and similar so we have total six programs directly related to child development disabilities most of these programs have already been launched and some are to, one or two are yet to be launched and you know the situation in kerala you know that imr has come down to 7 per 1000 livers and could be most likely due to the increased preterm survival and survival of high risk newborns so whenever there is an increase in survival and decrease in mortality naturally there will be an increase in morbidity 
So that morbidity part we have to take up to give quality survival to the survivors of NICU graduates. Unfortunately, I, we find that there is uh, actually a gap when the neonatologists usually they transfer the baby after the neonatal period, maybe after six weeks, it should be just taken over by the pediatrician because afterwards in many uh, big institutions, neonatologists are not seeing the baby after maybe two, three months. The follow-up part is left with the pediatrician. So there is a gap between the neonatologist and the pediatrician. So that gap must be we must be able to fill that gap. So there must be a, a streamlined uh, follow-up of newborns. And moreover, this year we are introducing a uh, immunization card for the, all the pediatricians. And it could be, and it is endorsed by the IAP. The IAP immunization schedule is there. And in that we are also including uh, the developmental screening also if against the expected uh, the due date of vaccination and the given date of vaccination. Next column will be whether the child has achieved the expected milestone for that period. And moreover, the random development scale will be included in the last page of the uh, immunization card. So we are in planning it. We have got good response from many hospitals. So if the IAP Kerala will be printing the card and distributing to the hospitals and the hospital's names will be there. So that will again give us so that we will not miss the important milestones of development when they come for the immunization. I think uh, today's talk will be is, is from uh, Dr. Shaf, and he has become a teacher to all of us, our online teacher, like the, the, the school, the online class server. He has been teaching us maybe many sessions. And today's, uh, I wish today's uh, webinar all success. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Narayan sir. Uh, I invite Andhagashan sir uh, for uh, uh, introducing uh, the topic, and uh, then we'll go directly to that topic by Jan Kishan. Andhagashan sir. So very good evening, respected presenter Dr. Narayanan. Uh, our own MKC sir, my teachers Dr. Ragyas and Dr. Sachidan sir. President of IAP, Kodi Code, Ashraf, Secretary Naha, other senior members, past president of IAP, my dear friends. So I would like to congratulate IAP Kodi Code for the uninterrupted webinar program and also for selecting an important topic, as Naran rightly mentioned. We are not giving much importance to the follow up and the uh, monitoring of the disabled child. As infant mortality is now become a very uh, less than in single digit. We are starting in, in single digit. But the quality of life, I think, uh, mortality is reduced, but uh, morbidity is still we have to concentrate, we have to focus. Congenital heart disease and other complications are avoided, but uh, they still neurological problem, either due to preterm survival of a preterm baby or congenital brain malformation. We are seeing a lot of cases. So I think uh, Ashraf talk will enlighten on this point. So once again, I wish you all the success for this program. Thank you for invitation. Thank you. Over to Naha. Thank, thank you, sir. Uh, now we'll go to the topic. I invite our uh, uh, dear MKC sir to chair this session and start the discussion. MKC sir, over to you, sir. Sir is muted. muted. Can you unmute him, please? Sir, unmute him. Ranjit, please unmute uh, Dr. MKC. Uh, MKC, sir, sir, unmute him. Uh, mobile on the, on the drag him. Unmuted item. Uh, right. Yes, okay. now it's okay. okay. So, good evening. Welcome to all participants. I understand there are pediatricians, other doctors, some nurses and therapists in the group. So I'll uh, try to address everybody's, you know, smaller, small, small concerns. 
particularly welcome all the distinguished panelists i don't want to name all of them because it will take time i just want to introduce this whole program uh, based on my 40 years of uh, experience in this field i started in 1980 in sat hospital now it is 2020 we are starting with child guidance clinic then developmental clinic neuro developmental follow up and my follow up babies are now 36 years old so that is a whole background from me i'm saying i'll just take few minutes to highlight some of the most important you know features or lessons that i have learned number one would be that you need to understand we need to understand the relation between impairment which is a neurological problem we have to prevent it from becoming a disability which is a functional problem and going on to handicap which is a social problem so the neurological problem impairment is doctor is the most important person whereas when it come to disability and handicap the therapist become the key person so that is something we need to understand the second point i would like to say is if you want to focus on one thing to prevent disability neurodevelopment disabilities i would say it is low birth weight baby because we know that a low birth weight baby has about 10 iq like points uh, compared to a normal birth weight baby and uh, my phd project had proved that if you give early stimulation by the mother then you know it can ready it can make 10 points can be compensated for example a low a normal birth weight baby has uh, something like iq like 84.2 then on an average of course the the less than 1500 g with stimulation can go up to 83.8 which means both is same 84 of course we must remember that every baby can't be made like that but on an average we can do that the third important point is that if you if low birth weight is the most important thing then we need to prevent low birth weight and the most important significant the uh, risk factor for low birth weight is the height of the mother and the height of the mother can only happen during the growth spurt in the pre pubertal stage which means class 1 to 4 uh, that is 2 years before uh, the menses start that is a period when you have the maximum growth spurt that means when the breast bud appears or start enlarging the mother knows that next 2 to 2 and a half years you need to give good nutrition that will go into height of the child and not weight so that's very important then what are the things that we need to focus pediatrician need to tell mothers or the girls that before marriage compulsorily rubella vaccine because that is so important secondly avoiding playing with cat and you know cat feces gardening and all that and third would be folic acid 5 mg not after becoming pregnant in the perinatal period Be, the moment you your marriage is fixed you have to start taking folic acid which can prevent 70 to 75% anencephaly anemia is an important thing kerala but somehow uh, compared to national standard anemia is not such a problem in kerala but still it is important now in the newborn labor room and postnatal the three important factors which produce problem is hypoxia that means you need to have minimum ambu bag in the in the in the labor room hypoglycemia which means immediate breastfeeding and septic shock most important is that people should not come and uh, pick up the baby and kiss the baby and that suppose go, go, with the covid now i think we have a habit now we won't go near the baby i think that has to continue septic shock is the third most important thing our fourth for next point i would say is our focus always have been on handicap and syndromes and now nowadays syndromes have become more important because at least some of them have genetic enzyme therapy so that is important but the focus should not be on handicap our focus should be on delay because that is where you can get pick up early and give almost 100% results almost delay now what are the delay development delay language delay and communication delay these are three important ones so in a all kerala survey below 3 years have shown that there are 3% uh, 
roughly 3% development delay, nearly 3% language delay, and uh, communication delay. Basically, we are looking at autism. Before one year may not be possible, but one and a half years, before two years, 100%, we should be picking up autism. Now, among the screen positive cases, what we find is 70% has development delay and 15% language delay. That means what we need to focus now, most important as developmental pediatrician or pediatrician is developmental therapy, early language intervention, and autism group therapy. All three have been proved to be effective and we have published papers on that. So developmental therapy for development delay, early language intervention for language delay, and autism group therapy for communication delay. And at national level, we did an excellent study with the NIH USA and uh, Autism Speak, and in which what we have found is below 10 years, there is 10% neurodevelopment disability, easy to remember. Below three years, 3% 3 development delay, language delay. Below 10 years, 10% different neurodevelopment disability. The important thing about this study is that of the 5,000 sample from across the country, every child has gone through. Community sample systematically picked up and every baby had not a screening test, a confirmatory test. So there cannot be a mistake at all because every child has gone through confirmatory tests for 10 neurodevelopment disabilities. So when I say less than 10 years, 10%, it is 99%, you know, okay. And what is the method, how we can address this issue in Kerala? What we have is our pediatricians, are, many of them have joined the Rashtriya Bal Swastya Karyakram, the planning of which I had a lot of involvement. In, we have the district early intervention center, what I used to call previously in CDC as a, a developmental referral clinic, CDRU, Child Development Referral Clinic. Now it is called district early intervention center. This is one place where the pediatrician and the therapist can work as a team. This is where pediatrician can take the leadership role and let the therapist flourish there so that most of our babies, now of course it is mostly in the district. It will come at, it should come at the block level and private sector also. A lot of effort have been being done. And Today's speaker, particularly, I need to congratulate him because Ashraf is one person, uh, I know him for not only for a long time, but his involvement as a social security mission director for some of these areas have been phenomenal. And, and I'm, I'm sure with the so many years of experience, he's going to give us some pearls. At the end of the talk, we can have a small discussion because very senior people ask, in the panel, particularly from Calicut, so many senior people are there. So all of them, we will have a small discussion. I will stop it now. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, now we can go uh, to Ashraf, sir. Thank you, thank you, Nihas. <coughs> Respected chair of the session, MKC, sir, Dr. Narayanan, President IAP, Kerala, Dr. Ananda Keshavan, National Vice President, respected teachers, CK sir, Riya sir, Baldar sir, and many others, senior faculty members, colleagues, and friends. First of all, let me thank MKC sir to be with us for this session. Dr. Krishnakumar might remember the class he has taken at IMCH during the inauguration of the Child Development Clinic run by Krishnakumar during the 2000s. I think it is somewhere March or April in 2000 or 2001. And during my tenure as an executive director, Kerala Social Security Mission, I have lot of opportunity with to interact with him and he was one of the main 
member of the technical committee for state initiative on disability framed during that period and many occasion you have gave me lot of tips about how to manage bureaucrats thank you sir <laughs> thank you for being with us today now i am going to riyas jan the slide share it out next 25 to 30 minutes i will talk on early detection of neuro developmental disabilities for quality survival actually the main target group of this talk is practicing pediatrician it may be useful for other professionals other therapists working in this field it includes some thoughts as well as some scientific facts i dedicate this talk to dr k c rajagopalan sir the teacher of teachers actually <coughs> during 1987 i think myself ajit and mohandas all of us belongs to same 29th batch where they are students at that time so we never posted in pediatrics under him but during my pg period my thesis was health and nutrition st uh, status of a rural icds block my guide was ck sir and covid was kcr sir and during that days many times we traveled from calicut to manjeri to conduct the to coordinate the survey and i all heartedly congratulate dr ananda keshavan for his work dedicated effort to honor kcr for for considering kcr sir for lifetime achievement award of iap last national peakonet in indore then this talk is dedicated to all my respected teachers in imch including my first mbbs teacher dr shandamam abraham till i remembering the beautiful neurology class she has taken to us as well as the great doyen of medicine dr cbc vaidyar sir who will act out all the neurological science during his clinical class classes coming to my topic recently everyone in kerala chief minister health minister media person all are saying in this covid era kerala is different why kerala is different the kerala is different because its social indicators health indicators are in par with developed countries it may be the economic indicator the kerala may be 16th or 17th in among the indian states the maharashtra being the first one tamil nadu gujarat but the kerala the social health indicators are in par with developed countries and we are very particular we have we are a state which implemented decentralized planning in a most successful way actually the decentralized planning means gram swaraj that's the dream of our mahatma ji then lot of community initiatives 100% literacy neighborhood network in pain and palliative women empowerment social security initiatives i'm not saying the answer of these questions you all know which state has lowest imr what is the imr in kerala now it is in single digit what is the imr in india it is around 50 so kerala has a low infant mortality rate and a high life expectancy how did how does kerala achieve all this it is the contribution of doctors expert expertise and commitment of doctors and other health workers 
awareness, especially among the public, sanitation, safe drinking water, immunization. Ready? Now, we immunization in the Parama Palapuram during 1975 or early 80s. The hard work done by KCR sir, Shabinadan sir, Kujan uh, sir. So, we have to count the countless work they have done to improve the immunization status in the Kerala. Also, the involvement of the ICDS and Anganwadi system is also commendable. Then, nutrition, poverty elevation, all this infrastructure and road connectivity. If there is a road connect, if there is not road connectivity, that the, the preterm baby delivered at Vayanar will not reach at Kaligat Medical College or Mims Hospital. Accessibility to the healthcare facilities, quality services, technology. When saying about the technology, the technological advancements may lead to saving of lot of newborn babies. But now we are discussing about the rational use of antibiotics. It is a period we also discuss or think about the rational use of technology also. Then political will, whether it's a left, whether it's a right, there's a good political will in Kerala for the good initiatives. So now we achieved a single digit IMR. As our president Narayanan pointed out, we all know the 50% of infant mortality is due to neonatal mortality. So a reduction of IMR means a reduction, a drastic reduction in the neonatal mortality rate. Right? We have achieved this. Neonat our neonatologist, young neonatologist has contributed much in this reduction of the neonatal mortality rate. Right? But we all know the newborns are dying because of all these causes, asphyxia, sepsis, birth injuries, preterm and associated complications, metabolic disorders, congenital defects and malformations. So single digit IMR means survival of babies with various malformations and deformities. So survival of babies with high risk for various neurodevelopmental disabilities. But everything in the world, there will be black aspects and white aspects. There will be pros and cons to everything. So reduction of the infant mortality rate, right, no doubt, it is a very good thing. But on the other aspect, it will lead to a lot of mor morbidity, as our president Narayanan not, not pointed out. So the survival of babies with high risk for various neurodevelopmental disability is a real challenge before us. So there is a high chance all these NICU survivors or PICU survivors may have all these problems, cerebral palsy, other neurodevelopmental disorders, congenital anomalies, hearing impairment and deafness, visual impairment and total blindness, chronic diseases, learning disabilities of various types, multiple disabilities, psychosocial problems. So early detection is important. Why early detection? We all know every human being, the head circumference at birth for a newborn baby is 35 centimeter. It become 45 at the age of one. It become 48 by the age of two. There's a rapid growth in the early period of life. And the young brain is so pliable. It is not plastic. The early stimulation or early intervention will lead to formation of a lot of new synaptics, which will help the baby to, to, to overcome the disabilities during the early part of the life. So how early you should pick, pick it up? You should pick it up as early as possible. Not three months, not six months, it should be picked up as early as possible. That is the motto of this talk. I already mentioned the main target of this session is practicing pediatricians. So 
the good center, the higher centers may have a well-defined, well-structured neurodevelopmental follow-up program. But for practicing pediatrician, what will be the approach that I am going to tell now? And it may be useful to the rehabilitation professionals also. What will we do? These three strategies for the early detection. One is adhere to high risk concept. We all know what is high risk baby. Second is developmental screening in well baby clinic. Not only in the high risk babies, it should be done in the well baby clinics also. Then the third and most important thing is look for early markers. What is this early markers? I will come to that later. We all know which are the high risk babies. I'm not going to read all this list of conditions. It is, it is, it is, it is known to every practicing pediatrician. There are some prenatal conditions, some perinatal conditions, some postnatal condition, which makes baby high risk for neurodevelopmental disabilities. So you should have a, we should have a high risk approach in early detection. The high risk babies should be followed up separately with a special care. Then the developmental screening in a well baby clinic also, as well as the high risk babies. In high risk baby, as well as in well baby, we have to do developmental screening in, in, in well baby clinic. We can use either WHO developmental scale or Trivandrum developmental scale or language and language evaluation scale of Trivandrum. MKCs are already pointed out about the communication defect, which is very important. So we, we have to aware how to administer language evaluation scale Trivandrum. That is called LEST. We all know TDSC, Trivandrum developmental scale. Then regarding the WHO developmental scale, I prefer Trivandrum developmental scale over WHO developmental scale. Details I will come to later. This is the WHO developmental screening. It can be administered in a child less about one and a half year or less than one and a half year old. It is very easy to administer. You can keep a pencil or a scale against the corrected age of the individual. The terminology corrected is very important because in preterm babies, we have to do correction. In preterm BB, a period equal to the prematurity should be subtracted from the chronological age to predict development. Suppose a baby delivered at 32 weeks, the chronological age is three months, but the corrected age is only one month. You expect one month development for that baby, especially during the first year of life. So while applying this developmental screening test, we should remember about the corrected age in preterm babies. It is very easy to administer to health workers, but for more specificity, the Trivandrum developmental screening chart, TDSC is very, very useful. It is a screening tool developed by CDC, simple tool with 27 items. During undergraduate day, I think it is only 17 item no age group difference, but now there are, there are two charts. One is for age group of zero to three years, and next is for the age group of three to six years, which contains 24 item and the TDSC, Trivandrum Development Screening Chart for the age group of zero to three contains 27 items. It is only time required is five to 10 minutes. No specific kit is needed. That is one of the most advantage of this TDSC. Because uh, still I remember during that talk in 2000, 2000 uh, MKCSR said only the pen scale and the keychain is enough to administer Trivandrum developmental scale. This is the Trivandrum developmental scale for zero to three years. How will you do for a three month old baby? Keep a, keep a pencil or a scale against the corrected age of the individual, all the milestone left side of the, that line 
should be attained by the baby, then the development is normal. If baby is not attained any of the milestone on the left side, that means the, is the screening, he should be evaluated for the developmental delay because it is not a diagnostic test, it is only a screening test. Then for a 12 month old baby, all these parameters should be attained. Left side of that line. Very simple to administer. Then this is a scale for three to six years. You can keep a royal line against the character age of the individual and look for the developmental milestones, whether it is attained on the left side of the age bar. If it is attained, it's okay. That baby is okay. If anyone is not attained, you should go for detailed evaluation or a confirmatory test. Then, all these points I, I already discussed, it is very easy. The interpretation is normal. If child passes all the items falls on left side and there is a suspected delay if the child fails any item falls on left side. So it is very easy to administer. Then regarding the language evaluation scale, also there is two age groups. One is for zero to three years and another for three to six years. The first one contains 33 items and second one contains 31 items. The administration of the tool is like that of Trivandrum developmental scale chart. Same, same thing, you can keep a pencil or a draw, draw a line against the age, three month old, old baby. You have to respond to bell, rattle or clap, response by sex, smiling. Then it is okay. There is no problem. But for a six month old baby, all the parameters on left side should pass. The interpretation is same as that of Trivandrum developmental scale. This point is already discussed. Age scale represents one month interval. The interpretation normal if child passes all the items falls on the left side and delay if child fails any item falls on left side. Then this is the most important point. The detection of the early markers or the clinical manifestation, early clinical manifestations of a neurodevelopmental disability or a cerebral palsy. The manifestation may be a general features, may be a growth problem, may be a development delay or deviant development. It may be a manifestation of abnormal, abnormal motor performance, alteration in the muscle tone, abnormal postures, reflex abnormalities, associated abnormalities. So early feature, the development delay, you may get, the mother may complain at the age of three months or at the age of six, six months, but all other clinical manifestation may manifest early. That is the importance of early markers in cerebral palsy and other neurodevelopmental disabilities. The manifestation may be the manifestation of any of these things. One of the important general manifestations is pride. If the child is excessively irritable or incessant cry, repeated episodes of incessant cry, poor sleep, don't prescribe, don't diagnose abdominal colic every time. It may be due to abdominal colic. Don't prescribe colicate every time. You should rule out whether child is having a cerebral palsy or a microcephaly or a neurodevelopmental abnormality. One of the non-specific early marker is excessive irritability, incessant, repeated episodes of incessant cry, poor sleep. And in the, the abnormally, the opposite also, the abnormally calm child. If the child is having a global development delay, severe intellectual dis disability, he may be abnormally calm. If child is having a mild intellectual disability or mild global developmental delay, he may be hyperactive. Excessive sleep. 
if the if the mother is saying there is no problem with my child he will sleep always then it may be a problem every baby porchoke karayanam bahal undakanam alle but if the child is abnormally calm it is always a uh, red flag it may be hypothyroidism it may be a neurodevelopmental problem then the other important activity of a child or a young infant is feeding all this feeding manifestation abnormal feeding problem may be a manifestation of a neurodevelopmental disability poor sucking tongue retraction persistent bite that is called tonic bite tonic bite it is a feature suggestive of spastic cerebral palsy so mother parayana after feeding she is not amalakanil ingana kadichu pidichu nikkunno it is very difficult to latch out that is persistent bite tongue thrust especially in extra perimental cp it's an early manifestation the feeding difficulties are well known in extra perimental cerebral palsies now one thing na porthayku molakanna thallunu which may be normal in the early part of so the persistent tonic bite persistent tongue thrust grimacing le palu edukkan povumba ingane ilichu kaatuka maybe a manifestation of abnormal movement maybe a manifestation of increased tone drooling frequent vomiting exaggerated gastroesophageal reflux aspiration of feeds all this may be the may be an early manifestation so if these symptoms are persistently there look for neurodevelopmental abnormalities also then it may present as a growth problem the growth and development that is the basis of pediatrics if you are an endocrinologist or a intensivist we should assess growth and development in all children especially in the younger age this is a live case which was admitted at, at imch at the end of april one month old baby developed a convulsion on 28th november day and treated embryically as late on such sepsis from a peripheral hospital lp was not done baby was referred to imch on 8th day of treatment because of the persistence of irritability and incessant cry it, it was a term baby birth weight was 2.8 kg but as far as the neurodevelopmental problems are concerned the pediatrician failed to record head circumference he may took the record head circumference that i don't know but he failed to record it and he failed to communicate the same to the mother when we took the head circumference it was only 32 cm for a term baby at the age of 1 month the head circumference is 32 it has several implications it may be a primary microcephaly it may be a cerebral palsy associated with microcephaly that child there is a high risk to all these things primary microcephaly or a secondary microcephaly but this case has so has also lot of medical legal aspects because per meningitis treat cheyidu adu kaiye 3 months kaiye developments onnu varatha po aalgalu aa treatment ne kutram parayum appo if we found the child is microcephalic we can convey that we can counsel the family we can counsel the mother even though my debate is whether the child is uh, having meningitis or not it is not no, not my point of agenda because it is debatable but child is having a solid finding of microcephaly which should be communicated we can say the prognosis otherwise they will blame and their episode to the ill treatment of meningitis so the microcephaly also can can explain all his manifestations so the assessment of the growth is very important in a suspected case of neurodevelopmental problem also both weight height or length head circumference and correlation between these growth parameters are very important low birth weight babies maybe an intrauterine infection drug intrauterine drug exposure or it may be a several syndromes is ja baby well known to develop neurodevelopmental problems 
even large for diet babies, especially infant of a diabetic mother, well known to develop microcephaly. So the birth weight of the child is important, as well as the length. If the child is having microcephaly, you can predict prognosis. If his length or height is normal, and it is a mild microcephaly, which may be an autosomal dominant one. If the linear growth, that is length or height is also affected, which may be a secondary microcephaly or, or a autosomal recessive microcephaly. So correlation between the different growth parameters are also important. Then regarding the other early markers, we already discussed about the feeding problem. We all already discussed about the growths. Then these are the other problems. Alteration in the muscle tone, which can manifest as a stiffness. The mother may complain, my baby is too stiff. We have to assess that. And at the end of the assessment, follow up. Follow up. We should realize the mother. Mother's apprehensions, mother's concerns, it should be addressed properly, always. Then another manifestation is floppiness. If the baby is slipping through the hands while carrying by shoulders, another manifestation of the alteration of the muscle tones are various fixed postures. Then poor mobility and fixed postures. The quantum of movements may be less. Quantum of movement may be less. Persistent cortical thumb beyond eight weeks. General examination. Persistent fist beyond 10 to 12 weeks. Paucity or asymmetry of movements. Sadarna a cyclic movement and kutial and davila. Telapa or say it lich a positive in dago. Cover test. If you are covered the face with a towel, he will persistently or repeatedly remove that towel with the same hand. He will not use the other. Reciprocal kicking may be absent. Difficulty in wearing diapers. All these are the, maybe the early manifestation of a cerebral palsy. Then, preferential unilateral hand use may be apparent at six months, especially in the hemiplegic CP. We all know the handedness will develop after two years. But any handedness before two years is abnormal. Suppose the mother is saying, six month old baby using right hand always, that means he's having left hemiparesis. So preferential unilateral use. Abnormal crawling, asymmetrical crawl, and commando crawl. Early six months, eight months ago, walk and stand on tiptoes. W sitting, especially in the diplegic CP, uh, winds of deformity, all this may be the manifestation of a torn abnormality. We all, we all know the cerebral palsy is a disorder of posture, torn, and movement. Then, movement problems, especially in the extra pyramidal CP, uncoordinated or involuntary movements of writhing tongue and fingers and toes, facial grimacing. Head staggering, tremor on reaching out. Cheria, we all know the cerebellum will, will mature by the age of three only. So some soft neurological signs are there in early part of the life. But multiple soft neurological signs take it as a abnormal. Tremor on reaching, triangular taxia, or it may be a manifestation of associated features. Eye, poor eye contact, roving eyes, Poor hand regard, persistent skin, refractive errors, ear, lack of auditory response, dysmorphology, small head or large head, constipation, or maybe a manifestation of a neurological or developmental problem. In this, eye and ear is very important for the special senses like vision and hearing is needed for early stimulation and early intervention. So in any suspected case of neurodevelopmental disorders, we should do an ophthalmic as well as the ENT assessment, audiological assessment. Then we all know the development delay is the most important manifestation of a neurodevelopmental disability. 
we are, we are all familiar with these terminologies, specific delay, global delay, dissociated delay, regression. It's a marker of neurodegenerative diseases or deviant or deviance development. This is a deviant development always suggests hypertonia or spasticity. Deviant development means, we all know, development occurs in a definite sequence. Any deviation for that sequence is called deviant development. Suppose that for the example, usually handedness attained by two and a half years, any handedness before two years is abnormal. If a child is attaining handedness by eight, eight months of age, that means the other side of the body is weak or spastic. This is called deviant development. That is a deviation from the normal sequence. But another example is some mothers will say, my, 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 my baby is rolling over, but head control is not attained. It is not actual rolling over. It is called log rolling. It is due to spasticity. So deviant development always suggests spasticity. Then this is a case scenario. Eight month old baby from Bepur referred to us for not attaining head control and development delay. She was a preterm delivered that it may be six months. Even six months, the head control may be little delayed, we can say. But this active alert, but there is wrist widening and F is wide open. So nutritional deficiencies like severe and deficiency anemia, Rickets may lead to hypertonia as well as development delay, especially gross motor delay. And deficiency, rickets, severe failure to thrive or PEM, all may lead to a developmental delay. The cause may not be neurological or neurodevelopmental. Then, regarding the development, these are the red flag signs. Any delay, no social smile by three months, no head control by five to six months, unable to sit alone by age of nine to 10 months, unable to transfer objects from hand to hand by age of one year, abnormal princess gas by age of 15 months, unable to walk alone by 18 months, failure to speak recognizable words by two years. All this, consider all this as a red flag sign. And the word of caution is, since control of movement does not occur until late infancy, Diagnosis may not be confirmed until after six months of age. CKs are always said the newborn brain, the young brain, infant brain has enormous capacity to develop. So, cerebral palsy development delay parents parents follow up But if there is a very evident signs, we can say. But a mild, subtle features. Then, brain has enormous capacity to develop and form new synapses, especially in response to early stimulation and early intervention. Yet another important thing is, please help them to develop skills rather than trying to treat their ills. This is also unnecessary medi medications may be avoided. Our main objective should be to develop skills. For that, we have to do early intervention. The topic is not in the scope of this session because it is it is a it, it, it is a uh, huge topic, but it it is a teamwork which involves all these people. And lastly, the role of NGOs, LSTDs, government agencies, the community at a large should also entertain. That is important. And in the modern management technique, there is no team leader. Previously, we will say the pediatrician is team leader. In modern administration, in administrative hi hierarchy, there are two hierarchies. One is vertical hierarchy, another is horizontal hierarchy. For the work, it is horizontal hierarchy. So here the pediatrician is 
should be a facilitator rather than a captain. Then we should have head to the high risk concept for early detection. Look for early markers. Keep the suspected babies under regular follow up. Early detection and early intervention are the cardinal factors in disability limitation of children with cerebral palsy and other neurodevelopmental disorders. Early detection without a proper intervention is a mere waste of resource and time. So we have to, as Narayan, Dr. Narayanan, as well as the MKCs are pointed out, we have to work for that structured neurodevelopmental program with facilities for in the early induction, detection and early intervention. Without intervention, all this exercise is mere waste. Then is a quote from Stephen. My house and my workplace have been made accessible for me. Computer experts have supported me with an assisted communication system and a speech synthesizer, which allow me to compose lectures and papers and to communicate with the different audiences. But I realized that I am very lucky in many ways. My success in theoretical physics has ensured that I am supported to live a worthwhile life. A difficulty It is very clear that the majority of people with disabilities in the world have an extremely difficult time with everyday survival. Let alone protective employment and personal, that is a reality everywhere. That is a reality in, in, in our state also. So during my tenure as an executive director of the Social Security Mission, I got an opportunity to implement an early intervention program in the area of the hearing impairment, that is cochlear implant, which was inaugurated on 28 April 2012. Almost eight months after that, on the 1st February 2013, we we, we, we conducted a family meet of 200 implantees. At that time, a prior song of Padamba, Aramasa Mumba, cochlear implant, cochlear implant, the process of Noki Chivikana, a part of Sakutam Shadikina, I put it for expression and photo. Then, Anna put a cochlear implant, a kind of put in the part of the part is I know. Deva Kirtanam, Deva Deva Kirtanam Padua and Lengil, E. Nakendri, Tano, Nada, and the Repartan, Chitra Badi, every part I know. Manoja Mumba implanted Jeda, very good theater party. Other Sagoda, we chicken up or a photo. Perrebuti, Kaigo Pinacono. Only eight months after the intervention. Then, one of the most every politicians have good aspects and Bad aspects. One of the chief ministers who had a lot of empathy to this sector was Manjani sir. This child is from Parambra. And 2016, the number of implantees around 614. We had a family get together at Cali, get around 500 implantees. Pa program in Avasana. Part which is not a Hindi part of a chapel. Udia is up the ten day, no better lake on the Veraka put on stage like a pan year. Our dance in the video share chair in the Kayana Pui. But other part the Kayana could be having a pogana for the children. The other three two Madiam with satisfaction with the other show. Then Adinda Shasham for the part of disability sector. To the other end of the session, we are going to I think MKCSR will agree with that statement. We are going to convince the government. We are developing a center for audiology and speech pathology. There is not much facility in the audiology area in, in, in Malabar, and whatever, especially in the government sector. This center was sanctioned during that time. Around 1 to 1.5 crores rupees government spent for this, for this lab. But we are going to be able to do that. Number with the Kanoka Kuya, Naman and Davan of Nila, Adinde, Kukalam Palangamoke, in Lavarikum Kuya. Karanam, Yanetum Buddhimutia, Kano Health Sector like 
സോഷ്യൽ ജസ്റ്റിസിന് ഒരു ഫണ്ട് കൊടുക്കുക എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അത്ര എളുപ്പമല്ല പക്ഷെ എലക്ഷൻ പ്രഖ്യാപിച്ചത് കൊണ്ട് ഉദ്ഘാടനം നടത്താൻ കഴിഞ്ഞില്ല എലക്ഷൻ കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ ഇറങ്ങുകയും ചെയ്തു സ്റ്റിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ഓൺ ഓൾ ദീസ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിത്ത് വൈറ്റ് ഡ്രസ് ആർ പോക്ലിയർ ഇംപ്ലാന്റീസ് ദെൻ സ്റ്റവറൽ ഇമ്പാക്ട്സ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡിസബിലിറ്റി സെക്ടർ റിയലൈസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദി ഗവൺമെന്റ് ലോഞ്ച് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ഡിസബിലിറ്റി എം കെ സി സാർ എസ് വെൽ എസ് ടി അവർ ദെൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഐ എ പി പ്രസിഡന്റ് കമ്മത് സാർ നമ്മുടെ അബ്രഹാം പോൾ ഓൾ വെർ ദ എക്സ്പെർട്ട് കമ്മിറ്റി മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി എസ് ഐ ഡി വി ഹാവ് ഫസ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റേജ് വി ലോഞ്ച് ദി റുബല്ല സോഷ്യൽ ജസ്റ്റിസ് ഫണ്ട് കൊണ്ടാണെന്ന് അഡോളസൻസ് എട്ട് ഒമ്പത് പത്ത് പതിനൊന്ന് പന്ത്രണ്ട് ക്ലാസ്സിലെ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് റുബല്ല കൊടുത്തത് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ പ്രിവെന്റീവ് സ്ട്രാറ്റജി ഫോർ ദി റൂറൽ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് പ്രോബ്ലം അബ്രഹാം പോൾ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ദി ന്യൂനൈറ്റൽ സ്ക്രീനിങ് ഇൻ എറണാകുളം ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് ബട്ട് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ഒക്ടോബർ ഓൺവേഴ്സ് ഓൾ ദി പബ്ലിക് സെക്ടർ ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽസ് വിത്ത് ഡെലിവറി മോർ ദാൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി അണ്ടർ ഗോയിങ് യൂണിവേഴ്സൽ ന്യൂ ബോൺ ഹിയറിംഗ് സ്ക്രീനിങ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഹിയറിംഗ് എയ്ഡ്സ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഫോളോ അപ്പ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഏലി ഇൻവെർട്ട് ഫണ്ട്സ് ഫോർ സാങ്ഷൻ ഫോർ ദി ഏലി ഇൻവെർട്ട് സെൻറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഓൾ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട്സ് ഇൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ബട്ട് ദ സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് ആർ നൗ ദ പി ഡബ്ല്യു ഡിയുടെ കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ അല്ലേ അങ്ങനെ ഒന്ന് ഇട്ട് പോകുന്നുണ്ട് ദ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് ദി റിപ്മാർ നമ്മുടെ കൊക്ലിയർ ഇംപ്ലാന്റിന്റെ ഒരു ഇഫക്റ്റ് ആയിരുന്നു അവിടെയുള്ള ഒരാൾ അഞ്ച് ഏക്കർ ഭൂമിയും ഒരു പത്തോ പന്ത്രണ്ടോ നിലയുള്ള ഒരു പെട്രോൾ ഗവൺമെന്റ് തന്നു ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് റീജിയൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് പാരാമെഡിക്കൽ സയൻസ് ദെൻ ഡിസബിലിറ്റി സെൻസ് ഓഫ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഇമ്പാക്ട്സ് so thank you thank you to all my teachers from my mch starting from mahmood sir to mohan kumar including hasan bhai madam kanak madam sikes sir riya sir and many others then thank you to my team team pediatrics i mch mondasum mg geethi babu francisum junior girishum വി കെ ഗിരീഷ് ആ ഫോട്ടോയിൽ ഇല്ല ഇതിൽ നമ്മുടെ ജൂനിയർ ഗിരീഷ് ഉണ്ട് മോഹൻദാസ് മോഹൻദാസും എം ജി ഗീതയും ബാബു ഫ്രാൻസിസും വിജയകുമാറും സ്റ്റിൽ മിസ്സി ദ ആർ ഇൻ മഞ്ചേരി ദെൻ വി ആർ റണ്ണിങ് എ ആർ ഇ ഐ സി ഇൻ കാലിക്കറ്റ് മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജ് ഫ്രം ടു തൗസൻഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ജാനുവരി ഒൻപേഴ്സ് ദിസ് ഇസ് മൈ ടീം സൈക്കോളജിസ്റ്റ് സ്പെഷ്യൽ എഡ്യൂക്കേറ്റർ ഫിസിയോതെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് സ്പീ തെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻ്റൽ തെറാപ്പിസ്റ്റ് ഒപ്റ്റോമെട്രിസ്റ്റ് ദെൻ social work then i am inducted to the iap code code after a long tenure in administration i started administrative duty in 2003 as a deputy superintendent imch at that time i was a 75 percentage clinician and 25 percentage administrator later it become 25 percentage administrative 25 percentage clinician and 75 person is administrator during my superintendent and it become almost 90 to 95 percent as administrator during my tenure in kerala social security mission but iap helped me to regain my academics definitely i thank to all the iapns of kodi code as well as the iapns of kerala my mentors leaders and friends in iap kerala then uh, what of gratitude to the krishna kumar as well as the roshan bijli the directors of the enhanced and crc for supporting well the neurodevelopmental programs in imch and these are the community initiatives the community initiative may be the answer for a populous country like india this one is uh, organized by calicut university with the support of social justice department that is community based disability management centers across kodi code kannur as well as the malappuram districts i am a honorary consultant there as well as this special school i am also occasionally visiting as a consultant at 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 at, at, at malappuram district which know which does lot of interventions including uh, bottled and toxin as well as the mobility mission of kerala that is the corrective surgeries for the cerebral palsy or other neuro development in in association with the ms medical college perindal uh, manna it is also funded by the government most of these programs were sanctioned during the tenure of mk mani as a social justice minister then this was my case of some in the side team it was a fantastic period for me almost 4 to 4 and a half years even though some 
some st uh, strong stand against trade unionism. Then the message is teamwork will one, do wonders. Early detection, it may be your speciality. The pediatricians and the mother medical specialists may have a big role, but for early intervention, it is, will not be possible without a teamwork. So take up the role of a facilitator, then a captain. Then for the rehabilitation, community involvement is a must. IAP, I hope IAP should work in that area. NGOs, there are a lot of possibilities. NGOs, corporate sector, LSGD, many more. And corporate social responsibility by the corporate firms is yet another opportunity. So teamwork will do wonders. Actually, Lee is a number, uh, hearing ambassador of Cochlear, and it is an interaction with him uh, regarding the successful implementation of the Cochlear Implant Program, state funded Cochlear Implant Program in Kerala. This photo, you may be seen in the first slide. You can see the same, same speech processor in the air. It is also a Cochlear Implant funded by the government. Look at his eyes very carefully. He's undergone a surgery for congenital rubella also. It's a baby survived congenital rubella syndrome. Thank you all. Thank you all for the patient care. MKC sir, out to you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. I think uh, Dr. Ashraf has taken us through a whole gamut from early detection, the developmental testing, the pediatrician's role as a developmental neurologist, to social sector, the role of NGOs, the role of uh, government, and what all can be done if you work as a team. And that's an extremely important uh, aspect that he has emphasized on. I think this is a time to have some comments from our senior leaders who are on the webinar. I think maybe we'll call from Calicut itself. Please join. I don't have to call anybody. Please join. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. CK? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Ashraf. Can I get a cover, sir? Yes, Hello? Sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Ashraf, for such a crisp and clear talk on this subject. As you know, Dr. T.P. Ashraf belongs to the 29th, the illustrious 29th batch of Calicut Medical College, which also boasts of uh, other stalwarts like our own HOD, Dr. Ajit, Dr. Mohandas Nair, Dr. Latif, Dr. Nanta Kumar, and so on. And I was very fortunate to have a person of the or stature of Ashraf as my colleague during my tenure in IMCH. But then, but then, uh, just, just like most of us, we are all fans of uh, MK Sister. So just like us, uh, he was also a big fan of uh, MK Sister, and he took to social pediatrics in a big way. And as uh, MK Sister has already mentioned, he was the he was the um, high-profile executive director of the Social Security Mission, and he was almost single-handedly responsible for implementing so many programs. <laughs> So many schemes, including the uh, cochlear implant program as well as the um, rubella vaccination program. And uh, because of this, uh, this has helped thousands of our children. This has completely changed the destiny of thousands of our children. So I wish you all the best, uh, Ashraf. And the question for you: What's your experience with the Botox and in, uh, in uh, IMCX? Is it freely available? And what's your experience with Botox, sir? Actually, the difficulty is these, these children are undergoing physiotherapy in the VKM hospital. Even the uh, bottle and toxin was given here. Now we are calling uh, all these children for the assessment and we will publish uh, that data soon. Then I 
it is effective but it is the 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 the, the, the period of effectiveness short of the, uh, the long term effect still doubtful i think some of them request uh, second injections or third injection also but it's very expensive the diplegia yeah. it looks good i think uh, mk sir have uh, yeah. comments on that i i think diplegia is the group that is going to respond so well because their brain is normal upper limbs are normal their main problem is adductor spasm and if we can reduce the adductor spasm within the the effect will last minimum 3 months then again suppose you do once more it, at least 6 months you can cover it. sometimes you can cover even more than that by then you can teach the child to walk because their damage is not as severe as other group number 1 number 2 if you need a surgery or not if you do a surgery will it create positive effect or some bad effect it can be picked up by botox because the moment the relaxation comes that is okay means gait is okay that means by giving by doing a surgery suppose we need to that is going to happen so botox has that great role uh, but also, although, although it is not a panacea for every problem it doesn't work in every child and sometimes if you have multiple problem unnecessarily using botox can give a problem in the sense that sometimes this muscle tone is excessive muscle tone is required for the baby to have a you know poster though it is abnormal poster at least to have a poster so that sometimes there are few tricky situation but overall it has very good effect and i think it should promote it ashraf ashraf Uh, but, uh, so congratulations Nashra, for the wonderful work and uh, great effort you have taken now my question is regarding how is your pediatric orthopedic backup because we are getting so many cases of uh, severe spasticity contracture and the lacuna here it is we got orthopedician but the pediatric orthopedician is not there and that's so why we are getting not very good result so how you are uh, managing this problem so you got very good backup with the pediatric orthopedician actually actually the previous hod of orthopedics dr gobagumar sir is very interested in these procedures he had undergone some training in uk after that he is the main pillar of all these corrective surgeries now among uh, younger generation in the calicut medical college dr balaji as well as the other name i, I forget uh, took keen interest under the gobagumar sir and i think faisal is the someone in uh, ms medical college also taking keen interest faisal will communicate that uh, ms it is there ms it is there but uh, government sector uh, i think uh, well, gobagumar is now retired but the balaji uh, as well as the ortho for the chief peru vernal enike they are taking keen interest now okay. jacob 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 uh, jacob bro yella jacob matthew jacob matthew dr jacob matthew as well as uh, balaji balaji still in the program dr gobagumar is involved in the mobility mission program dr ananda krishnan doichathu valare important oru chodyamana adinte problem endanu choichal namukku ee surgery keralathil proper aayittu cheyina gobagumar sir allada adhiyam perilla unda pakshe athra adhiyam illa committed aayittu sir cheyiyana ibada namukku vendathu single surgery multiple alla we want a single level multi level surgery adhaayathu oru divasam thanne but idella salathum venda surgery ore anesthesia cheyan pattana multiple aayittu varade ippo adana etthom you know endha varna important aayittu cheyina pandu nammal selective risotomy posterior risotomy in surgery and here nerves inde idu filaments edukkunna oru parivadi undayirunnu pakshe adu patra nalla alla na parayunnu because either you overdo or underdo both will create problem but idu cheyyanena ulli or problem single sitting multi level surgery cheyyanulla problem endha nu nichal ee gate analysis venamayirunnu and most of the places there is no gate lab now a problem oru paridhi vare ipo maariyittunde because ipo computerized program undu for gate na appo prayogiyamayittu clinical surgery clinical assessment um before surgery ku vendi idu cheyyan pattu പക്ഷെ വി നീഡ് ഫ്യൂ പീപ്പിൾ ടേക്ക് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് എല്ലാ മെഡിക്കൽ കോളേജിലും ഒരാളെങ്കിലും ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് എടുത്താലേ ഇത് വളരത്തുള്ളൂ എംകെ സി സാർ പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ സർജറിന്റെ റോൾ ഒരുപാട് റീഡിഫൈൻഡ് ആണ് ഇപ്പോൾ കാരണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ചില ടോണുകൾ ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ആണ് 
അപ്പം ചില ടെൻഡൻ ട്രാൻസ്പ്ലാന്റ് സർജറീസ് ഒക്കെ ഇപ്പൊ അൺപോപ്പുലർ ആയിട്ടുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ നമുക്ക് ആളില്ല വി ഹാവ് ടു ടേക്ക് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് സി കെ സർ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് എൻ എക്സലന്റ് ടോക്ക് ഐ മസ് സേ ദാറ്റ് ഐ ബിൻ വാച്ചിങ് ഹിസ് ഗ്രോത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് നൗ ഐ വിൽ സേ ഹി ഹാസ് ഗോൺ ബി ഫോർ വൺസ് ഓഫ് ഐ എം സി എച്ച് ഐ തിങ്ക് വി വെർ ഓൾ ഫോളോയിങ് വട്ട് എം കെ വി സി വാസ് ഡൂയിങ് ഓർ പ്രൊഫസർ കെ സിയർ വാസ് ഡൂയിങ് ഇറ്റ് ലിവ് ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് മഹാത്മാ ഗാന്ധി സെറ്റ് ഇൻഡ്യ ലിവ്സ് ഇൻ ദ വില്ലേജസ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹെൽപ്പിംഗ് ദി അണ്ടർ പ്രിവിലേജ് ഡിസേബിൾഡ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഈസ് really rewarded by the work he has been doing and it's excellent he was telling about the thesis i must remain one more thing he did the thesis for somebody else told with my help i think i shall be remembering and we were going to icds the thesis the thesis i have done yes yes acting <laughs> thesis and everything anyway i think this is an eye opener for all the younger pediatricians and i would i went to one point narayan See, you discharge the patient from a newborn nursery, you have to call them for regular organization, reviews and everything. So you don't lose track of that. Especially when you're working in a big institution, it becomes easier. But in a place, it still can be carried out without interrupting and looking for early intervention programs as it is well uh, designed and programmed and continued from to random. under the leadership of mkc anyway it's very nice to see mkc here to hear my dear uh, stock and my dear friend thank you very much go ahead and you sachi sir is there sachi sir sachi sir sachi sir sachi sir ഡിറക്ടർ Uh, bringing an awareness and sensitizing the pediatrician on early intervention i think we should start with uh, the adolescent girls pediatricians should concentrate on the adolescent girls first as a preventive aspect of all these things because their health their nutrition is very important the other aspect which i already uh, what i have observed in the last many years is very often uh, you tell them you you want a follow up on this children because as you mentioned earlier it's really subtly you don't want to tell the mother that there is a possibility and uh, have apprehension there so but what happens is the follow up is does not occur because unless and until the year again i would like to stress on counseling because uh, six weeks when you come for uh, for your for the regular check up well baby you would like to see the child again maybe after one month or two months but tell them but then since you said it's only a review uh, they don't uh, they, they for them the child looks okay so that is something which you have to stress about the proper counseling asking them to come for a follow up or if possible if they don't turn up for the follow up have some means of contacting them and then uh, calling them back i think they are, again there's no point in only making a diagnosis early intervention is what we are all failing very often and now good good thing we have these facilities in almost all the districts but there again you talk about an occupational therapy to a patient who is in the outskirts well they can't come every day to the city or the district and do it it's it's only uh, that there are other challenges now again so i think the social pediatrics to be taken up uh, in a big way so that what we talk here can be practical and help be helpful to the people living there anyway sir that was an excellent talk a good eye opener thank you thank you thank you sir thank you. sir thank you krishnamar had started some community initiative in that sector mkc sir krishnamar will say that but it's a present 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 situation of <laughs> mobile clinics it is very nice to hear dr mk sir and ashraf talking about uh, development disorders 
uh, Ashraf actually, uh, he's the one person who is responsible for almost all the uh, social security programs for development disorders in Kerala. Whether it is Ashwa's Kiranam scheme or uh, and so many other uh, nuclear implant schemes. So all these things actually started when Ashraf was uh, the director of social security mission. And uh, we are all actually standing ovation. <laughs> actually, but it was very, very, <laughs> so it was uh, very informative uh, and pointing to especially uh, younger pediatricians uh, to the importance of uh, follow up of neurodevelopment disorders. And one point I would like to uh, indicate is Kerala uh, Telecom infant mortality rate is. Uh, become seven or so, single digit IMR. But developmental disorders, actually, if you see the world data, uh, the prevalence of neurodevelopmental disorders has come down. Uh, it was actually MKS or CDC study, 3.4% or so, around under five children. And the incline study, they talk about 9% of uh, developmental disorders uh, in children up to nine years or so. Uh, but overall, the present prevalence of development disorders has come down. For sure, the infant mortality rate coronary will market decrease. So that means there is a significant percentage of children with neurodevelopment disorders. problem on the there is no definite treatment. So so we need a comprehensive approach. I still remember Ashafa number 99. Development pediatrics clinic in a I started with uh, behavior disorders, then I started with uh, newborn problems, then I was talking about uh, low birth to it. Then I was talking about uh, antenatal care, follow up and all. Then I was talking about uh, adolescent care. Adolescent. Uh, but actually, I was talking about But actually, I But actually, Saran was talking about adolescent But now I understand the importance of that, uh, how you reach that level. What is important? Saran was talking about a big lesson. Setting a trend. Like academics. Uh, start the end of the, we start from antenatal uh, screening, then newborn screening, newborn care, then follow up. And actually, regarding follow up, my personal feeling is up to school entry, we should follow up with children. Only when the child starts going to school, child is uh, functioning normally, then we can say that uh, child is normal. Now it is not like that. So the follow-up concept is totally changed. And again, now one very important problem which we face is what we do with children with developmental disability after the age of 18 years. Up to the age of 18 years, then you can send them to school and all. Now they come to me what to do with this children. It's a real problem which we face now. And there are no centers. That is something with social security mission or somebody should take. And the other thing is, uh, so we need a comprehensive approach. Uh, and regarding the uh, mobile unit, uh, CPSR, you should start for the periphery therapy we started the mobile unit in 2010. In it was taken over by Social Security Mission. We started extensively, in, and now it is available in all districts. Along with the REAC, mobile units are available in almost all districts. Actually, a disability the e programs of care, it is special to Kerala. But I don't think there is this type of comprehensive program available. But what I feel now is 
2010 like we had a star city of specialist speaker up we don't have 2019 <laughs> detection of disability, providing therapy to disability, and rehabilitation of adults with intellectual disability development problems. That is very important, block level or taluk level centers, whether we can start that. In psychiatry also, uh, what I usually say is, uh, we need taluk level psychiatry units instead of uh, the law. The community health center is an area at the block level. Block level centers are faced in manner like SAD and MKCs are working on the concept of paper. That is the district early intervention center. Actually, when we started the mobility of base level, special engine bodies, this is a connection to the design. But in paper, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Special engine bodies are available in 25 engine bodies, even functionally. And then one word about the last slide of uh, uh, technology, uh, uh, I, I feel that is very important. Neurodisability, since we don't have any specific treatment, I think we should utilize technology for uh, reducing handicap. Uh, uh, that is one area that we should concentrate. ാണെങ്കിൽ <laughs> <laughs> That will be the greatest thing because as a state center dealing with bigger children, but child development center kudulum focus in our ways very But disability kanuna, or very bifaga on the parayene kuda kanuna, enhance le, here a division, the experimental basis, I think government support to get to, and Lengal Ethangal philanthropic agencies. ഉണ്ടോ <laughs> ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല ഇന്ന് Just for a point, we should be discussed in detail by an expert. We are going to be in the IAP. We are going to be in the IAP. Kottayam IAP has already started. With uh, Ernavulam also started. Child Development Center as a project. We are going to be in the IAP unit. With the community participation. With the help of NGO. We are going to be in the IAP unit. We are going to be in the IAP unit. We are going to be in the IAP unit. We are going to be in the IAP unit. Most of them may not accommodate the private sector also. Each therapist is not going to be able to do it, but it is not going to be able to do it regularly. So, it should be a social project of IAP in all districts, if possible, in near future or coming year. That is my humble request. പിന്നെ എം കെ സി സാറിനെ പറ്റി ഒരു കാര്യം കൂടി പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഞാൻ അവസാനിപ്പിക്കാൻ ഞാൻ തന്നെ ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് കാരണം ആ വി സി ആയിരുന്ന സമയത്തും സാറിന് ക്ലാസ് എടുക്കാൻ ഭയങ്കര ഇഷ്ടമായിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ ഒരു ദിവസം
ഡിസബിലിറ്റിയെ പറ്റി പാരാമെഡിക്കൽ വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾക്ക് സാറിന് ഒരു ക്ലാസ് അറേഞ്ച് ചെയ്തപ്പോ സ്പീക്കർ ആയിട്ട് ഇവിടെ ചെല്ലാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഞാനവിടെ പോയി ഒരു പത്തേ കാലിൽ നമ്മുടെ സെഷൻ തുടങ്ങി സാറിന്റെ ഒരു ഇനീഷ്യൽ റിമാർക്സിന് ശേഷം വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ഞാൻ ഏറ്റവും ജീവിതത്തിൽ എൻജോയ് ചെയ്ത ഒരു സെഷനാണ് അത് ഒരു പത്തരക്ക് ഞാൻ സംസാരിച്ചു തുടങ്ങി അപ്പൊ ഇടയിൽ സാറും പിന്നെ ഇപ്പിക്കമേ ഡുവൽ ടോക്ക് സാറ് പറയും ഞാൻ പറയും ഒരു മണി വരെ സാറിന്റെ ഓഫീസിൽ ഒരു പണി ഒരുപാട് പണികൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ ആ ആ കുട്ടികളോടുള്ള ആ ഇന്ററാക്ഷനിൽ ആ ഒരു കസേരിൽ ഇരിക്കുമ്പോഴും സാറ് കാണിച്ചത് ഞാൻ ഇടയ്ക്ക് അത് ആലോചിക്കും ഇപ്പൊ ഞാൻ അതൊരു ഒരു മുഖസ്തുതിയായിട്ട് പറയല്ല സാർ ഡീപ്ലി ടച്ച് മൈ ഹാർട്ട് ദാറ്റ് സിയർ കാരണം നമുക്ക് ഒരു അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ് പണിയില് ഒരു ടീച്ചിങ്ങിന് വേണ്ടി എത്രയും എഫേർട്ട് എടുക്കാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ഇമ്പോസിബിൾ ടു മീ എസ് എ സൂപ്രൻ എസ് എ അവരെത്രായിരം കുട്ടികളിലേക്ക് ഇത് പകരും അപ്പൊ അവിടെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ അത്ര ഒരു ഇത് കാണിക്കാമെങ്കിൽ അപ്പൊ അവരൊരു നൂറ് നൂറ്റി ഇരുപത് പേര് പാസ്സായിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഇവരാണ് ഇവരെ നമുക്ക് ഐ എ പിക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാം ആസ് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് അവരെ സെർട്ടിഫൈ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ഡിഫറൻസ് talk different and we are enjoyed and we follow what all the things that can that you have told and one thing in continuation to doctor what doctor shaji has said uh, taking these things into the adolescents iap kerala this year has got an action plan that is passport to pregnancy where we uh, we educate adolescents and the would be mothers the importance of three things that is adolescent immunization folic acid supplementation and nutrition these three things. so we will be coming out with that project it will be mainly through a so it will be a social media campaign to reach everywhere and in association with the gynecology department we will have that passport to pregnancy that's a new action plan that's already there it's a action plan that will help us to reduce uh, disability at a larger level so thank you all thank you all for especially for for uh, presence of dr mk c nair so which made the session different a bit of all teachers my teacher and and the i know that i told you now everything is centering around what mk c has started this program minus 2 to plus 2 everybody will be remembering now so we have covered even we, now it, it is going to the antenatal uh, period perinatal period so minus so peri from perinatal period to plus 2 now plus 2 80 days so that's the range that dr mkesh has mkesh has brought us to be familiar with and to include in our activities so we are all following that and we thank everybody for your active participation in the period dr narayanan ഡോക്ടർ നിഹാസെ ബാലയുടെയും കഴിഞ്ഞ് നിർത്താൻ തോന്നുന്നു circumference which uh, has got medical lingual as uh, this i don't know how many are doing correctly whether it is doing correctly even in the government sector and the second point the is newborn the, discharge card yeah in the discharge card and second point is that you should give importance to the alteration the muscle tone and the third importance you have to give importance to the mother's concern that is what i heard from uh, some of the points and these were very good points and uh, i would like to ask mk sir i was thinking about that uh, this is the first book i received from uh, cdc uh, ah, still, still the copy is also with me there yeah. during my pg period i got yeah, that one <laughs> so i would like to ask mk sir avaru sarne oru slogan undayirunnu uh, 
uh, if you prevent the adolescent nutrition, if you improve adolescent nutrition, it will prevent low birth, it will prevent intellectual disability. In general, ah, sir, na ഓർത്തിരിക്കും <laughs> <laughs> ടൈറ്റിൽ ഒന്ന് വായിച്ച ബാല മലയാളം പുസ്തകത്തിന്റെ മഞ്ഞ ബുദ്ധിവികാസത്തിലെ മറ്റു അംഗവൈകല്യങ്ങൾ എപ്പോഴും വിചാരിക്കും സി ബി എസ് സാർ എപ്പോഴും പറഞ്ഞ ജനറൽ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഇസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് അപ്പൊ ഐ വൈസ് ഓൾവേസ് അഡ്മയർഡ് ടു ബൈ റിയാസ് സാർ കാരണം വെച്ചാല് സാറിന്റെ ഒരു ജനറൽ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഭയങ്കര ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ഭയങ്കര ഭയങ്കര ഉഷാറാണ് കാരണം ഹി വിൽ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ഓൾ ദി സെറ്റിൽ ഫൈൻഡിങ്സ് ഇപ്പൊ ഞങ്ങളെ ഗ്രൂപ്പിൽ മോഹൻദാസും ഗിരീഷസും ഏകദേശം എല്ലാ ഫൈൻഡിങ്ങും പിക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആൾക്കാരാണ് അപ്പൊ ഈ ന്യൂറോ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് ഡിസബിലിറ്റീസിലും ആ ടോണ് ആ മൂവ്മെന്റ് ആ ഒരു ജനറൽ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഭയങ്കര ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ആണ് കഴിഞ്ഞ ആഴ്ച വിജയകുമാർ പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ ഐ വിൽ നോട്ട് സി വാട്ട് മൈൻഡ് ഡസ് നോട്ട് നോ പക്ഷെ ഈ അണ്ടർ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ട് തിയറി ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ നമ്മളെ കണ്ടത് കാണൂ ചേഡ് ബൈ മൈ ലെജൻഡറി Uh, mkc sir who is my teacher uh, and uh, his words are ringing in my ears every day he usually say i have data i have data to show what is happening to these babies at one year i have data to show what is happening to them at five year i have data to show that what is happening to them at 10 year and all so because of his uh, that institution cdc we have all this data and uh, i always uh, one one disappointment uh, is uh, we don't have uh, that good follow up here we are following up but we don't we are not documenting it properly and uh, with the help of uh, reic uh, with the pressure of uh, regional early intervention center we are uh, planning a, a pakka follow up of our newborn babies and uh, uh after 5 years from now we may be having a data <laughs> what is happening to these babies at 5 years thank you ashraf thank you mkc sir thank you mohan sir uh, i think we can wind up uh, thank, thank you ashraf sir thank you fk mkc sir for uh, joining us i invite ranjit for the vote of thanks Uh, thank, thank you, you uh, sir thank you ck sir riya sir all other okay. respected teachers and charge sir or the senior yes. members mk sir did a final, final, final comments mk sir one mk sir sir final comments by brother soldiers lost their life or second avare orthittu venam nammal find yes thank you thank you sir okay ranjit on, for the vote of thanks on behalf of iap kolgod I, i would like to thank mkc sir uh, for his auspicious presence and sharing his vast experience in early child, child neuro development and wonderful discussion and also our dear ashraf sir for the wonderful talk and very relevant in this coming social pediatrics and wonderful work as executive director for executive director of social security mission and thanks to our uh, central ip vice president and the geshwan sir past president uh, past national president sachi sir for their presence and state president narayan sir balendra sir and all the senior teachers and all the uh, participants who joined the session thank you all good night thank you sir thank you
Thank you, Ranjit, for taking all the pains as a host. Yes, also. Thank you, sir.